Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Adidas logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of creative methods. So, if you are new to this channel, so please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And don't forget to hit that like button also. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. I have created this composition. Height width is 1920 by 180 and background color is white color. I am going to make it full resolution. Then I have this logo file over here. I will simply hit import. I will press S and I will scale it somewhere around like this. Now first of all we will create some masking animation for it. So let's create one ellipse and stroke let's delete the stroke and for the fill obviously because it's masked then you can create whatever color you want so then by holding shift simply create one shape like this then select the shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option let's make initial scale 0 and create one keyframe go to around let's say 2.15 frames and increase the scale so it should cover our logo now select this logo press f4 on your keyboard if you are not getting this option and simply choose alpha man so as simple as that we will get this kind of animation over here like that now select both of these layers press ctrl shift c and let's call these layers as logo animation and hit ok like that now press con another composition so press ctrl n to create another composition and let's call it as map and simply hit ok then press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one solid background layer and we will lock this layer now we will choose our ellipse tool only and we will delete this field we don't want that and for the color we are going to choose black color and hit ok and then by holding shift i am going to create something like this the stroke width is 84 pixels over here Let's select the shape layer, press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. <coughs> press S for scaling option. Initially, let's make scale 0, create one keyframe. Also, in the search bar type S-T-R-O-P-E. So, you will get the stroke width option also. So, create one keyframe and hit U. Go to around, let's say, 1 point or let's say 2, second, two seconds only and increase it so it should go out of this composition like this and this time stroke width i am going to choose 50 so if you see this animation we will get something like this okay now select those and hit f9 and let's see how does it look it looks something like that now go to around 15 frames uh, and let's alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this and select this hit ctrl c select this stroke and hit ctrl v let's do one thing go to the start and let's make stroke width let's say 60 and at the end it should be 30 so if you see this now we will get something like this now i'll go to 15 frames i'll hit ctrl d and i'll move this over here i'll go to around one second i'll hit ctrl d and i'll move this over here let's go to 1.15 frames hit ctrl d and move this over here go to around two seconds hit ctrl d and move this over here now select all of this press alt open bracket to trim this go to the start and let's move this thing over here okay like that so we will get this continuous animation for this okay now after that uh, hit u right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect simply apply gaussian blur and increase the blurriness to 50 percent like that press ctrl alt y again to create another adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for mosaic effect then double click to apply and let's make horizontal blocks let's say 30 by 30 so we will get this kind of structure after that select your pen tool and make sure your stroke width is enabled don't we don't want any fill so from here to here we will create one stroke like this and stroke width i am going to choose 80 or let's say 
50% and select this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v and let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and move this over here like that now select all of these shape layers press p for position create one keyframe and go to around let's say five second maybe select this by holding shift i'm going to move this over here select this move this over here select this move this sorry mm, select this and let's move this over here with the help of our position uh, properties like that so if you see this we will get this kind of map for our animation hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and bring this map over here and let's hide this okay after that select this logo animation go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement map and if you hit play we are not gonna get anything except this now choose our map for this animation and now let's uh, go inside this select both of the layers go to around 15 frames and let's move them over here and let's see if we are getting animation from the start let's go again and let's move them towards the one second okay and now let's make quarter resolution and if you hit play we will get something like this now let's go inside this logo animation form i'll select this layers hit ctrl d to duplicate it and bring them at the top let's move them towards the 1.15 frames like this and we will select this logo layer we will press t and we will make the opacity 50 so we will get something like this so if you see animation over here it will look something like that okay now let's go to the map layer over here where we are getting this kind of animation and if you want then what you can do simply right click uh, new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and you can swap these colors also so you will get different kind of results if you see something like this okay now uh, what we are gonna do over here let's uh, select this uh, and let's decrease the stroke width a little bit yep this looks good to me now after that select both of these layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as logo animation and hit ok then press ctrl y on your keyboard uh, and create one black background and move this over here select this logo animation there and apply tint effect and swap this color so if you see this now we will get something like this now select this hit ctrl d duplicate around two to three times or five times select the last one instead of white i am going to choose the red color hit ok select this instead of white choose blue color select this choose green color and choose second layer and apply find edge effect on it and invert it okay hit pay down button two times select this move this over here and adjust it one by one like this okay if you see this thing in full resolution we will get something like this now let's select last three layers and go to the blending mode and choose green it will take a little bit time to load this animation but final output would be nicer now after that uh, doing this uh, let's select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as final logo animation and hit ok
and select this logo layer and hit control D and I'm going to apply find edge effect again on it and I'll invert this effect and I'm going to choose screen option and let's select this and let's move this over here and let's select this rectangle selection tool and we will create one mask on it like that select this hit ctrl d again press v and let's move this over here and press m and let's delete this mask on it select this and let's create one mask over here okay now after that what we are gonna do we are going to create one keyframe on mask path over here also we will create one keyframe on mask path and let's go to our uh, somewhere around over here we will select this key we will create one keyframe on mask path and let's select our selection tool and we will select this mask by double clicking and we will move it over here then we will select this mask double click and we will move this over here so we will get that uh, extra thing for our animation like this okay and if you want then you can select this press p and you can move this thing over here also so we can create certain reflections for our animation okay select this and enable this icon over here so our mask will look proper then after them again select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it select both of these layers and uh, make sure to enable this icon select this top one press s unlink this and let's make it minus 100 press p and let's bring this downwards somewhere around over here select your mask and create one mask on it like this go to the mask properties and increase the feathers like this press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 40 or let's so i think 40 looks good if you see this thing in full resolution we will get something like this and if you want then you can create another map for it so let's hit ctrl n and let's call it as map 2 and hit ok press ctrl y to create one solid background go to the effect and presets panel and search for fractal noise effect and simply double click to apply uh, and what i'm going to do increase the contrast and decrease the brightness of somewhere around like this go to the transform and link this uniform scaling and increase the scale width like this and decrease the scale height like this okay go to the comp one hit ctrl zero the map 2 let's bring this over here and let's hide this select this logo, lower second layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect on it double click to apply and i'm going to choose this map 2 so we will get this kind of reflections then after that right click new and create one adjustment layers go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect simply double click to apply and increase the glow radius and growth result totally up to 100 and at low intensity i'm going to choose 0.5 so if you see this animation from the start you will get something like this it will take a little bit time to load because we have applied time displacement effects on our layers but your final output would be awesome So yep, that's it for the today's video. We will see you in my next video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And if you want to create some more interesting animations like this, then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned.